going back to my question, no so problem. you called the uh, the whistleblower out by name recently in that interview. Now, are you certain that the alleged whistleblower is who you say he is? Uh, because none of the news outlets out there, the mainstream news outlets, have any confirmation about their identity. Is there something that you know that the nation doesn't about this individual that can confirm their identity? You know, I haven't actually been alleging or saying that this person is the whistleblower. I was asked about a person, Eric Chiaramella, who the person interviewing me said was a whistleblower. And I said, I think this person should be interviewed, Eric Chiaramella. And I think he is a material witness to the Joe Biden White House, to the Obama White House, because he was there at the Ukraine desk. This has been widely reported. Whether or not he's the whistleblower, I think, will be determined when he comes in to interview. But I'm not saying absolutely one way or another, but I'm saying it has been reported that he's the whistleblower. And it's also been reported that he was there in the White House when Joe Biden was traveling to Ukraine and when Hunter Biden was making $50,000 a month from a Ukrainian oligarch. So I think regardless of whether or not he's a whistleblower, he should be brought in as a material witness because there are questions as to whether or not he knew of the corruption that was going on with Hunter Biden, whether he reported it to his uh, superiors, or whether or not he had anything to say about the conflict of interest. Because the whole allegations against President Trump are that it was inappropriate for him to go to look into the corruption of the Bidens. And mm -hmm. I actually think that it's the job of the president to look at corruption before dispensing foreign aid. Right, I do want to get to the, the Biden topic in just a moment, but this inquiry was launched by a whistleblower who, of course, was not on that Ukraine phone call, but much of the witness testimony that we have seen in these transcripts and now heard publicly as of today confirms contents in those transcripts. So why reveal the whistleblower's identity? Do you think that's important? I think his identity is important for a couple of reasons. First of all, the whistleblower knows something that 50, 60 other people in the White House knew, and he has an opinion that it was wrong. Well, 50 or 60 other people have the opinion that there was nothing wrong with the phone call. So if someone's going to make an allegation based on an opinion, you ought to hear it directly from them. The other thing is, is that I don't believe it was legal for the whistleblower to have this information. Now, he can't be prosecuted. And I agree with this, the whistleblower statute protects the whistleblower. But the person who leaked the information to the whistleblower is not protected by any statute. And it's widely being reported that we know who the leaker was. And if the leaker broke the law, if it was illegal for the whistleblower to receive this information, I think whoever leaked it to him should be prosecuted and or dismissed from their job. Because if you can't be trusted to keep the private com contents of the president's conversation private, then you really shouldn't be working for the president. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.